Hey everyone, it's Project SBC, and today we're going to be talking about the cooling performance and TDP control on the One Mix 4. Now, the uh, One Mix 4 only has one blower style fan here, unlike the One GX1 Pro, which is dual blower style fans. So the uh, chip in this, the i5-1130G7, can put out over 15 watts of power, and the question is, can the cooling system keep up with that power? So we're going to answer that later, but before we get into that, let's talk about how we control the TDP on this device. So typically you would log into the BIOS. So when the uh, screen pops up here, we're going to hit the escape key to get into the BIOS. We're going to see that there is a option called PL1. PL1 is the sustained power usage. Um, it only gives us that option. It doesn't give us PL2, which is the turbo. But if we were to set it, we would go and we'd use the minus key and the plus key to set the value. I'm setting it to 11 watts, 11,000 milliwatts. You would hit a uh, function of four, and you would hit save. Now when we go back into Windows, we should be able to see 11 watts in hardware info. Now we've got hardware info open. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna find the PL1 value, and it is uh, nine watts. Wait a second, I thought we set it to 11. So it turns out there's an issue with the setting of the TDP in Windows from the BIOS. I did let one netbook know about this, so hopefully we'll see an updated BIOS come out soon. But in the meantime, how do we change the TDP value so that we can test the cooling performance? As it turns out, there's a user on the GPD Discord that is a wizard of batch files. He created a batch file program here that actually adjusts the TDP in the operating system. So if I go ahead and I run this program, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, we can go and we can set the value based on the numbers or letters that are over here. So I'm going to set it at 15 watts, that's B, so I'm going to press B on the keyboard, and we're going to see that the value gets updated to 15 watts over here on Hardware Info. Excellent. Now that we can change the TDP, we can test the cooling performance. So here's the test setup. We're going to have hardware info running here on the side where we can see the CPU package and the GT core temperatures. I'm going to have Heaven Benchmark running off here on the side, 1080p windowed and low quality. And when the benchmark finishes running, I'm going to record the average temperatures and I'm going to report the Heaven Benchmark FPS and score. So we're going to do three different TDPs, 9 watt, 15 watt, 20 watt, and we're going to do two different modes. We're going to do laptop mode with uh, plenty of ventilation access, and we're going to do tablet mode to see how it handles that as well. And I'm going to go and show you the results here in a moment. On the left hand side we have TDP profiles, and on the bottom we have the temperatures. For the first two blue bars, we have the CPU and GT core temperatures in laptop mode, red indicate tablet mode. You'll see that across the three TDP profiles, there is a temperature difference getting up to 7 degrees Celsius in the 20 watt range. So it is definitely cooler to run it in laptop mode than tablet mode. Taking a look at average SPS at 9 watt, we were seeing around 30 frames per second and jumping up to 20 watt, we were almost at 80 frames per second average. And of course, the scores. So overall, I'm really impressed with this thing. It managed to keep the CPU less than 80 degrees Celsius at 20 watts um, in both tablet and laptop mode. And that's all without activating the max fan speed. That was all in quiet mode. At 20 watts, I did notice that the fan did kick up in speed a bit, but it wasn't at its max. And it was able to consistently keep it under 80 degrees Celsius. So considering there's an i7 version of this, which probably produces more heat, I have no doubt that this cooling system will keep up as long as you keep it under 20 watts. Um, that's the recommended limit in the BIOS, and I'm probably not comfortable to go beyond that. Um, but all things considered, I think this is a very capable machine with a very capable cooling system, um, and especially getting 80 frames per second average on the 1080p Heaven Benchmark, I think that's awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe. I've got more videos on the way. We're going to go over gaming next now that we got TDP control under control. So stay tuned for those videos, and thanks for watching.